seems to be here. Yeah, that was a that was a rose squash there. Yeah, that's fine. Right there. Alright. So our little snowstorm's over and it's time to get started planting these mulberry trees. Of course we already got them marked off with the pieces of the rebar there. I'll finish the construction of the gopher proof beds a little bit later on. Can we get right around to it? Yeah. Right now it's good. Right before on. he has to plant the garlics and the Work on alliums. We're going to get these guys in. And yeah, it looks like maybe some uh, some critters were gnawing on the ends of those. They're, that's fine. They're, they're still alive. Uh, another reason for getting them out of the house and into the ground. I have a much better chance of survival that way. All right. Different them. So here we go. <sighs> Ooh, soft ground. Look at that. It's soft. I'll get out of here. Can't Ground's so green. soft. We don't get freezes, we just get snow and ice. Mm. <laughs> well, well, it does freeze. Not a hard freeze like they get in some places. It does freeze, but not for long. It doesn't loose up the dirt in here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pull it out of the hole. It's gonna loosen up in the hole. Making yeah. mud. Now, yep, okay. it's time, to, time mm. to make some mud. So we'll just take the bucket of water here. Got to use the bucket of water because the hose that goes out to this side is uh, currently sure. frozen. Oh, frozen. Sure. Yeah, it's, it's got an ice plug in it. Oh. Yeah, we'll fill her up with water. Make sure it doesn't start yeah. running out the bottom or something. Make sure, yeah, make sure it doesn't drain out because of the gopher hole or something like that. Burp. That's not a good sign. Oh, that was your shovel. That was my shovel. Okay. So far, so good. I guess I'm sure you're good for this. Get the rest of the soil back in the hole. Okay, my YouTube friend. That's what Jason's doing today. He's refreshing his Monday video, I'm sure. Today's Sunday. Yep. And then I was hoping happened. to get this done yesterday, but it didn't really warm up enough yesterday. And even today, we haven't got rid of all of the snow yet. The, sun, the sunny places and the places that have nice density to hold in heat. Yeah, like the roads. Yeah, the roads, dense. rocks, rocks, cement. That's all that stuff is denser material. But most of your out. most of your regular soil doesn't doesn't retain heat as well as concrete because concrete is more dense, higher density, greater heat retention. But he has been working on his lectures. So at least that. So that's what we're doing today, YouTube. All right, here we go. Uh, have a look at this mulberry tree. There we go. Looks healthy enough. Let's get it put in. So just like every other time we do this, just come in here, find my mud. My mud is really, it's really thin at this point. Putting this around. How does Dallas still have highways shut down? I don't know. I think there's Man. construction along there. It's Maybe a really nice looking dirt though. Very lot, black. You've done a lot of mulching in this area. Lots of black. Dirt. Turn all the leaves. You get dropped. And Okay. Little barrel in. There's one in. Yay. Yay. More buckets of water. <laughs> yeah, I need to go fill up my bucket again. It's not quick. Do I have quite enough water? Oh, oh wow, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> so you have how many of these? Six? Uh, we got six of them all together. And you actually figured out a place to put them. I've got a place for all six, yep. I hope they make it. And that is a root for a uh, black locust tree. They just run all over the place. Yeah, I bet you spot those. I <laughs> bet you know really well. <laughs> all the time you can get rid of them. So I, I, can, I can tell so what a tree is by looking at his roots, my golly. That one especially. That one, I, well, that one I can end up identify. And even then, it just slows it down. Yeah. You never get the whole thing. You know, yeah. It's like a zombie thing. 
they spread. They spread. Well, that's going down faster than the last one did. Yeah, it might be on a gopher hole. Hope not. Oh, it's, it's, okay. it's hard to not be on a gopher hole it's, back here, though. Making mud. Mud pies for fairies. Mud pies for everyone. Oh. Right. I don't know why it's a fairies. I don't know why it's a fairies either. All right. Who wanted the who wanted the brownies? Oh, the brownies. No, they wanted milk and honey. No. The brownies, yeah, the brownies want uh want uh, honey, milk, and biscuits. We get it right. Honey, milk, and biscuits. That's what the brownies want. We were you, you were talking you were talking about getting the house clean. And it's like I'm I'm just a garden gnome, you know. How's that to my mess? I'm just a garden gnome. You, you want the house clean, you gotta take that up with the brownies and they say they're on strike until they get uh, until they get honey milk and biscuits and union scale, whatever that means. Yeah, we're repairing the double With double zero. <laughs> alright, alright. So in all seriousness now. Alright, right, so there we go. So there's our mud pillow right there. There's a, there's a mulberry tree, lots of nice little roots, small little roots on there. And just push this down into the mud. Use your finger. <laughs> Where's your um, own? And then we'll pull it back knife. a little bit and it sets right there. Ta-da! All done. So this is what you have left after having put on, I believe it was eight inches, somewhere between six and eight inches of, of wood chip mulch about two years ago. That's a lot of wood. Are those two go. years already? So yeah, that's, that's, that's decomposed down after two years. Most of that right there, this little black stuff here, this is mostly worm castings. Oh, right. uh, put that one over there on, on the far end. We'll put one of them here. To give me a different one. When you uh, think my die sticking somewhere, you don't care if it dies. Uh, okay, well, that's not, that's not the best. Oh, there we go. That's yeah. got some good roots on it. Uh, some of these, yeah, they got more roots than others, so we'll see. Why do you think we ordered so many? If I get two or three to take, then I can always probably get more. Order four. If I only get if I get two or three to take, then I can always propagate more off of those two or three. I don't think yeah. one takes. Then this is one, right? Yes. Yeah. Whenever I, I whenever I get around to selling mulberry trees, some of the ones that we got here, I wouldn't sell them. Just mm. saying, I wouldn't sell them. Not, not in that condition. Nice, look how black, black that dirt is right there. Oh, nice black dirt on the top. You been thinking about mulching the yard again? Yep, I uh, think about mulching the yard all the time. But it sounds like a work. Will I? Some, Probably. I know you still got some spots in the front yard. Someday. Yeah, yeah, I'm still working on the front yard again. Oh, mom's yard. <laughs> Whenever it warms back up again, I'll be making more trips out to the to the Greenway site, getting more mulch and bringing it back. Now, and now you always have the weight in the back of the pickup. Um, and if you just need a handful of mulch, bam, it's right there. Yeah. Free weight Ta -da. Just have to put up our tools. <sighs> All right. Well, my feet are cold. My hands are dirty, but uh, we managed to get six mulberry trees planted today. I think that's pretty good afternoon's work. That's all I got for you today, good people. I hope you found the video informative or entertaining. And if you did, well, you know what to do. I will catch you next time.